Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Kaylin and I want to know, do you hate to do crunches? And do you think that is the only way to strengthen your core? Well, I am here today to show you that you don't need to do a crunch in order to um, get your core nice and strong and um, you will see results even with no crunches at all. I actually prefer um, as a Pilates instructor where we do do a lot of flexion in a lot of our exercises, I prefer these type of exercises that I'm showing you today. Um, they feel better overall in my body. They work and strengthen my core. And so we're gonna work through that today just with your mat, no props needed. And we're gonna start by lying on your back. So we're actually gonna work not just on our backs, but in different positions today. And you're gonna see how we're work, gonna work different parts of the core in that way. So go ahead and come down onto your back and you'll be laying down here with your head on the mat. And we're gonna start with the feet on the floor for a moment and just have a nice long spine. So what that means is you're not tucking your tailbone under and squeezing your glutes and you're not arching your back off the mat, right? It's just nice and released and relaxed. So this is called the neutral spine position and this is what we're gonna work um, in pretty much throughout all of today's class. So from here, um, I want you to go ahead and bring your legs up to a tabletop position. We're gonna start with what we call dead bug and we're gonna take those arms straight up towards the ceiling. Now we're gonna take right arm back and left leg forward, reaching them apart and then exhale, bring it back to center, bend that knee in. Other side, left arm, right leg, reach it away. Exhale, back center. Good, so continue this, but I, what I want you to do is really think about making sure that you're not arching your back off the mat when those arm and legs reach away. Because what's gonna happen if you arch that back is you're gonna lose that connection to your core. So if you really still think of making sure the back of the ribs are connected to the mat and that your low back isn't arching, then that's gonna help keep that core connection and stability. So let's do two more each side here. Good, reach and in, last set. Good, back to center, one more. Good, bring it back to center. All right, arms down by your sides. We're gonna move into single leg toe taps. So keeping the, the bent knees, we're gonna reach the right toe, to, right toes towards the floor, tap it down, bring it back up, and then switch sides. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. So same rules applies, apply here, no arching of the spine. Make sure you're sink in that neutral position. If you feel your ribs popping up towards the ceiling, press them back down into the mat. Tap and lift. Good, tap and lift. So you're wheeling that leg down right at the hip socket. Knee stays at 90 degrees. Good. One more each side. Tap and lift. Last one. All right, now both legs are gonna move together for double leg toe taps. Keep that low back pulling down towards the mat. Inhale, we're gonna tap the both toes towards the mat. Exhale, we lift them back up. Knees stay bent. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Now, if this is too challenging for you with both legs, go back to that single leg toe tap and just alternate. Good, inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Good, four more, four. Good, last three. Keep those ribs pulling down. Good, last two. If you're shaking, that's a good sign. And last one, tap and lift. All right, bend the knees in, pull them into your chest for a moment, just rock here side to side. All right, we're gonna do single leg reaches now. Now here, I want you to think about reaching kind of up towards of a diagonal. So we're gonna reach the left, I'm sorry, right leg long, Pull the left leg in and then we switch <clears throat> and switch. That's it, good, reach and reach. <sighs> so when you straighten the leg away from the body as opposed to having a bent knee, that challenges that core even more. So if you bring it too low and you feel that that back is arching, just lift the leg a little bit higher. You can always adjust and modify. Good, <sighs> two more sets, two, two, Good, one, and one. Good, pull both knees into the chest. 
give them a nice little hug, and then we're gonna do double leg reaches. So same thing, but both legs will be reaching long. So we're gonna inhale, reach both legs away, extend, exhale, bend the knees, pull it back in. Good, inhale, reach, extend. Exhale, pull it back in. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale in. Good, inhale, extend. Exhale in. Good, three more, three. Last two. Important to keep that breath moving, last one. Good, exhale, pull it in. All right, now we're gonna find, sing, or we're actually gonna do bicycles. So this is a combination of kind of a single leg reach in our bicycle here. So we're gonna pull that left leg into the chest, reach the right leg up towards the ceiling, and we're gonna extend it down towards the floor, and now extend the left leg up, pull the right leg in, and continue to bicycle those legs here. Again, keeping that nice neutral spine position. Good. Finding nice circles with the legs, really reaching that leg long as we lengthen it away. Good, and then reverse that bicycle. Good, and try to lift that leg as high as you can when you bring it in. Good, two more sets, two, two, one, and one. All right, pull both knees into your chest, just rock those hips here side to side. I will mention, if you are having trouble keeping your lower back from arching off the mat, it might be helpful if you stick a pillow behind the upper back and behind your head, and that'll kind of bring your body in a little bit of a diagonal position, which will help keep the ribs down and the back from arching. So that's always a great option as well. All right, so now double leg lower and lift. So we're gonna just take both legs up to the ceiling. We're gonna inhale, reach both legs away without arching that back, exhale, lift it back up. Good, inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, lift. So if you can only lower them down six inches, that is all you have to do. I'm sure you're feeling that core work. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, lift. Good, four more. Four, three. You got it, last two. And last one. Good, lift it up, bend the knees in. This time place the feet on the floor. We're gonna do some flat back bridging. So with the feet planted, walk the feet a little bit closer to your bottom. Arms are pressing into the mat. Now with a flat back, we're gonna hinge right at the hips. Use the glutes and the whole core to lift your upper, I'm sorry, lower body up, shoulders and head stay grounded. And then we lower the hips down just to tap the glutes and then bring the hips right back up. Good, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. So here, we're working the whole core. So our core isn't just our abdominals, although we've been working a lot of that at the beginning of class here. But our core really involves from our pelvis, our hips, all the way up to our shoulders. And as our front side and back body in that kind of rectangle um, shape there from the shoulders to the hips. Good. I guess more cylindrical than rectangular. Good, let's do three more. Three. And don't use your ribs to arch your spine up. Use your glutes to lift the lower body up. Nice, let's do one more. Good, lift, and then lower the hips all the way down. All right, bring the knees into the chest and either roll to your side and press yourself up to seated, or you can rock yourself up to a seated position, whichever works better for you. And we're gonna flip it over into all fours. So go ahead and come onto hands and knees. And we're gonna do a little opposite arm leg reach. So. Think about that long neutral position here with your spine. So if you look at the camera or look at the TV for a moment, I don't want you arching like this and I don't want you dropping your belly. This is probably more common in this position where we really lose our core. So I want you to pull your belly in and up towards your spine and lengthen your back, okay? So if you put a, um, a coffee cup on the back of your pelvis, it would not spill off, it would stay right there. All right, shoulders pressing yourself away from the floor. 
And we're gonna start to reach right arm forward, left leg back. So we're gonna take that right arm forward by the ear, left leg is gonna reach back, extend, and then lower those down, switch right to the other side. So we're trying to do this with minimal movement in your torso, so in the rest of the body. So reaching opposite arm, opposite leg, and then lower. So your hips and your shoulders stay facing towards the floor. So I don't want you rotating the spine or turning your hip open to the side. So this is getting your glutes, it's getting your back, it's getting your core. Okay, let's do two more times each side. And then we're gonna hold it on that first side. So let's do one more set here. Reach, good, and lower. Last one, reach and lower. All right, reach arm and leg long, right arm, left leg, parallel with the floor. Now you're gonna tap the fingers and the toes down and then lift them back up. So both arm and leg will stay long throughout this movement. Good, lower and left. Again, we're working that whole core here. Front, side, back body. Good, and lift. Two more, two. Last one, good, lower right hand, left leg. Switch other side, left arm, right leg. Good, tap it down and lift. Good, lower, lift. Gonna cramp in my calf there. It happens, lower and lift. Good, four more. Nice straight spine the whole time. Three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and bring it all the way down. Sit onto your heels and just roll those wrists out. All right, we're gonna take a quick break right here and then we'll come back for the rest of class. We are gonna go right into a plank position. So I'm gonna come onto my hands. If you have wrist issues, feel free to come onto your forearms. I'm also gonna come onto my toes, but you can also do this same plank just on your knees, okay? So either way, you're gonna have your shoulders right over your wrists or your elbows if you're on your forearms. And if on your knees, you've got that nice long spine from the crown of your head to your, your knees with your hips also in line. And if you're on your toes, go ahead and do that now, lengthening your spine, kind of the head to your heels. Good, so all we're doing is stabilizing here, using that core, all right? No crunches, no flexion, but you're feeling it, I'm sure. I know I am. All right, let's do one more breath here. Good, lower those knees down. You're gonna turn right to a side forearm plank. So we're gonna stay on our knees for this one and that is on purpose. So go ahead and come onto, um, with your hips lifted, your top hand is gonna be on your hips, shoulders are stacked, hips, hips are stacked and your glutes are forward. All right, so holding this position here, already we're feeling some work in this, this lower, oh, uh, these lower obliques, right? The ones facing the floor. You're pressing yourself away using that bottom shoulder. Really stabilize. Now, I want you to take the top leg, you're gonna reach it long. Take that top arm nice and long here. Lift your toes off the floor, inhale here. Exhale, bring knee and elbow together. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee and elbow. You can always just hold that side plank if this is too much. Knee, elbow, good, extend. Let's do two more. Good, and reach. Last one. Good, and reach. All right, we're gonna come back to that full plank facing the floor. So back on your hands or your forearms, knees or toes, meet me there. Good, nice long spine. Nice strong upper body, strong core. Good, one more breath here. Are we gonna lower those knees down? We're gonna switch it right to the other side into that forearm plank. So go ahead and switch it over. Shoulder right over that elbow. Lift it up onto your knees. Hips are forward, glutes are engaged. Either hold it here in this side plank or reach arm and leg long, lifting the leg off the floor. Take an inhale here. Exhale, knee to elbow. Good, inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. 
working those obliques, both sides, lower and upper side. Good, reach and in. Two more, lengthen, good, bring it in. Last one, reach and in. All right, go ahead and come back into that full plank. This will be our last, no, we have one more plank after this. So go ahead and come on to hands and knees and go ahead and come onto the toes if you'd like. Nice long spine, shoulders down. Good, neck is nice and long. Good, we have one more breath. You got it. All right, go ahead and drop your knees down. All right, we are going to um, lower to the ground to do a little bit of Superman before we come back up into one more plank. So go ahead and bring yourself slowly to the floor. All right, so it's just working that back body just a little bit more, that back core, reaching the arms long in front of you, legs are reaching back behind you. All right, pull your belly in and up away from the floor, engage your glutes. Take an inhale as you lift upper and lower body and your head off the mat. Lengthen here, now you're in your Superman. Exhale, lower down. And then we bring it right back up, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good, inhale, reach. God, that whole back body is working. Core is working, reach and lower. Just three more, three. Last two. And last one, lift and lower. All right, go ahead and bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press yourself all the way back up. All right, we have one more plank here. We are gonna add some slow mountain climbers to this. So these aren't gonna be fast. Spine's gonna stay long when we bring the knee under. So find that plank position for you. All right, hold nice and strong in that upper body. Your right knee is gonna pull under the chest. Keep the spine long. Reach that leg away, switch other side. Left knee pulls under and reach. Good, so we're trying to minimize any swaying or rotating of the torso or the pelvis. Try to stay nice and steady as you alternate those legs. Good, pull under, extend, good, under, extend. See if you can give me one more set here. Claw those finger pads down. Last one. Good, and then drop to your knees. Widen the knees, sink the hips back to that child's pose. Forehead to the floor. Deep breaths. Good, one more. All right, start to bring yourself up to a seated position here. And just go ahead and come forward into a comfortable seat. Oh, see, my heart rate's up. I worked my core, I can feel it. I hope you guys did too. You do not need to do crunches to work your core. So I'd love to hear what you thought in the comments below. Let's just take a couple deep breaths to finish. So take a nice inhale. So we bring arms open and up towards the ceiling, lengthening front, side, back body, and then turn the palms out as we lower the arms down. Very nice, and one more just like that. Inhale, deep breath in to lift. Good, and exhale to lower. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me here today. If you're interested in checking out a couple more videos, I'm going to link one up here that I think would be a great option for you. And I'm gonna link one down here that is my most recent upload before this one. So go ahead and check those out, or you can also check out lots of other videos I have on my channel. So thank you guys so much. I hope you had a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing you back here on the mat next time.